there are three types of people who got a hold of these Ritz Oreo cookie cracker combinations. A, it is the collector, the person who will never taste the sweet, delicious treats contained in the box. It is B, the individual who bought this to resell. I like to call them the asshole. And then there's three. It is the circle. It is the fellowship. It is the collective we, the us, those who love Oreos. Strap in for something special, kids. Greetings and welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira, and with us today is something that I didn't know if I was going to get or not. Uh, on the day, the servers for Oreo were so bogged down, it was almost impossible to get through. And at the end of the day, I really had thought, well, I didn't get one, I guess. And then I got an email a few hours later saying that I did. However, when I logged into Oreo.com, all my orders, it didn't, ex it didn't appear there. It was like it didn't exist. So I thought, well, maybe there's a discrepancy and I'm not really going to get it. Then I got a tracking number. I thought we would unbox these together. I hope you're ready for this because this is uh, interesting to say the least. You ready? Yeah, I was kind of expecting a full box, you know, a giant, you know, thing with sleeves in it. I, I intended to give them away to people so they could try them. And this is what we get. And that's fine. They were free. It was only $3.95 shipping, which is a good deal. Should have gone with the other shipping, though, because it took forever for these things to get here. But here we are today. So let's bust into it. I'm not regretting the size of this. It's all right. I'm a little bummed out. I had so many people that had interest in it I wanted to share them with, and I mean, I, I can still share them. I don't know how many are in here. Maybe this is one giant one. I have no idea. We're about to find out, though. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Paperwork. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's glorious. Look at that. Don't you wish you had one of these? I don't mean to rub it in. I'm really excited, though, because it takes work to get these. It takes time. This is not taped, and it's supposed to be taped. So I'll let you guys have the first look here. All right, I'll read that in a minute. Okay, so you get six completely destroyed. Uh, if you can see that, they are smashed to hell, and we'll have to find a way to eat them that's a little bit easier. The snack you didn't know you were waiting for. What is this about? Let's take a look. Are you salty or are you sweet? I don't know. We can scan that later and find out what that's about. I won't throw that one behind me. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is it looks like... I can't tell. We're going to have to bust into it. I think the cream is the... Um, not the menacing cream of the Ritz cracker cream. I think it's more like a uh, like the Oreo cream, which which would be interesting because we haven't had that yet. If you will go back and watch the video, you'll see that um, not too long ago I faked one of these just to see how it was going to taste. And... Um, it was good. It was really good. But now, good lord, these are a disaster. Awful. Terrible packaging. You tried. I know you tried, Nabisco. It's not all your fault. Oh, shit. Now I got crackers all over the floor. All right, here we go. First smell. Well, I guess we could just squeeze it. Ugh. That smells like a Ritz cracker because that's a Ritz cracker end. That smells like an Oreo. Okay. How do I get this open? Get out of here, milk. Shout out to Jess and Herbie for sending me the official vodcast dunking glass. Um, boy. There's about one of these, I think, that looks completely intact. There it is. I don't even know if we should try a twist test. We're going to have to because I want to see the cream inside and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like they went with the Oreo cream, but once again... They did like a half and half. I hate when they do that. It's like you have to choose where you're going to bite into it because you're not going to get a full, you know, uh, flavor profile of this thing. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um. Oh, wow. Well, that was pretty stale. And I gotta say, my version is way better. This is, this is not very good. It might be the fact that they're stale. It might be the fact that it's not the same peanut butter. Um, you definitely get that salty sweet thing going on. I just need to find a cookie that I can dunk. All right, we can dunk this one. 
I know you wouldn't normally dunk a cracker, and that's what grossed me out in the last video, but I have a feeling this might save the whole thing. Of course, we gotta do milk. Hmm. Well, I can't say that it completely saved it, but you know I like a softer cookie if you've been watching these videos all these years. So in that case, it's uh, better. Now, I gotta score it. We can't do an Oreo review without scoring it. I'm gonna give them a four. They're subpar. If they were fresh, maybe they might be a little bit different, but I honestly feel like you're not gonna get much better than what I just had there. Shame on you, Nabisco. Do better next time. And give me a bigger box. I paid $3.95 for shipping. Come on. Well, that didn't work out so well, did it? Anywho, there it is. We've all been waiting for it. You got it. Molly, I apologize. I thought I was going to come to your house and be like, here's a sleeve of them. Enjoy them. But they're not very good. And this, they're just a disaster. So maybe they'll market these and we'll all get to try them at some point in the future. But for now, that's the best I can give you. Yes, it's salty. Yes, it's sweet. I, but something was definitely stale and rubbery in it. So I'm going to give them a four. Sorry, Nabisco. You failed me for the last time. No, not the last time. You'll probably fail me again. But I'm never going to stop doing these. And if you guys love loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain is one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However... Never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. That's super important. Take care of yourself, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves, for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the podcast, and I'll catch you guys a little further on down the road. Take care. <laughs>